Here's an entrepreneurial tip. Don't build a business based on a trend. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs out there might say something like, you need to get on the trend. You need to jump on the bandwagon. You need to grab the opportunity while it presents itself and create a business that works in the moment. I say rather build a business that's sustainable, that's true to you. Okay, and I've seen this in, in person. I still know a lot of guys with boxes of fidget spinners in the garage. When COVID struck, everyone wanted to suddenly produce masks and sanitizers and sell it. And now I have entrepreneurs sitting in front of me for coaching, crying because they have thousands of rands spent on thousands of masks and sanitizers and storage that they cannot sell because the trend passed and the market is saturated. Don't fall into that trap. Don't go and buy and sell cars because everyone is doing it now. Don't go and get into property investment because Albert is doing it or some other entrepreneur is doing it. Don't go into cryptocurrency because all your friends are doing it and it's the latest thing to make money from. Right? Rather build a business that's true to you. And in my book, how to buy your happiness, I explain exactly how to find this business that is true to you. But build a business that's true to your nature, to your talents, to your experience, to your skill set, to your liking, to your passion. Something that's sustainable, that can stand the test of time, and that can generate income for you over a longer period of time, even though the trend has passed already. Something that you love to do. Something that you would do, even if the trend isn't there anymore. Now that is the correct business to start. Don't follow the trend. Stick to what you know, what you love, what you're passionate about, what you have experience and skill in. And then start a business around that.